for this What's Neat this week, I thought I would try to simulate snow on an HO scale scene. So I'll still film the scene outside on a gray day when there's no snow falling. And then I'll drop the snow in with the computer. So let's see how that turns out, I'll show you. Okay, so computer simulated snow can look pretty convincing on a model. Time and time again, Joe's asked me, Ken, what are you working on? Can you, can you do something on what some of the projects are that you've got going on besides catalog work and doing what's neat this week features every month? Well, I had a Skype interview with him just the other day, and he asked me just that question. So with that, I'll let you watch that interview. So, Ken. We've been seeing a lot of what's neat this week from a lot of different people. But I keep wondering, when are we going to see what's neat this week from Ken, from Ken Patterson? Um, I'm working on a bunch of things where I could cover. Uh, I just had my 110th cover with uh, Bachman Williams. It's a O-scale three-rail cover. I've got some a little video of that, and I can show you that cover. Uh, I'm working on an Amtrak consist uh, using some of the Wathers, uh E8s that they came out with, with the pointless arrows on them, doing a 1973-74 consist. I've got some still pictures of that. I don't have any video that I could put into something. Oh, it'd be good to see that. Also, I've been uh, hearing some rumors about you playing around in the snow, doing something with snow, snow shots or snow... Uh, videos or something? What's that? Yeah, we've been getting a lot of snow here, um, so I go out in the Garden Railroad and plow snow every once in a while. I spent a few hours doing that, so I might have some good video footage of that to add to a What's Neat This Week video. Oh, that'd be really cool to see. These so, uh, Broadway Limited uh, L1 locomotives, that's something else that I've got that's pretty neat. Uh, I picked up a few of those, two long tender, two short tender decapods uh, from Broadway Limited, and the sound system's neat and the smoke is impressive. I made a little test video of them smoking, um, so that's something else I could put in a video for you. Well, that'd be great to see. What about, uh, I heard about a transfer caboose or something that... Uh... Yeah, Blueford has come out with this uh, N-scale caboose, if you can see this. it's It oh, looks nice. like something you could wear around your neck. It's so finite and detailed. Uh, I took some still pictures of that, and I did a video run-by with that. Um, there's this bus also that Bill Gacci from Classic Metalworks has come out with. Um, it's worth noting this is a pretty neat model. I think it'd be really neat to put some motors in this, get it powered, steering, and have this thing running somewhere, remote control. So is that HO, Ken? Yeah, this is an HO scale model. Very cool. You know, I'm working on videos, Joe. I'm, I'm making my own videos. They're available at KenPatterson.com. It's a website where I'm selling download videos on how to make cornfields. I've also got a DVD for sale on weathering uh, the Bachman EM1 steam locomotive. It's really a DVD on how to model uh, weather any steam locomotive in six easy steps. Very comprehensive, some really beautiful run-bys. This is, this is the best. This is the high quality that I'm trying to make the videos come out to be. I think we'd love to see a little bit more about that, Ken. That sounds very interesting. So, yeah, with those eight things, I think maybe possibly I could put together a video montage and do a few still photos and have something to talk about that, that I've been working on for the last nine months or so. In between that and doing all these videos for you, I'm doing a video and a What's Neat This Week column every month. It's keeping me pretty busy. I'm meeting a lot of neat people, and, uh, you know, it's just great. It's fun doing. Well, great. Yeah, I think our readers really enjoy seeing the uh, things that you're bringing out and the What's Neat This Week column, you know, seeing the other modelers, seeing some of the sort of the, what I like to think of as the reporter at large sort of stories that you're doing, I think it's great. Okay. Well, you know, I, uh, 
I enjoy doing it. Uh, did I mention this Intermountain locomotive? I've set up a set of these. I got some in UP and BNSF that I purchased recently. These things are sweet. They've got nice sound in them. I did some videography of these things running. Real prototype looking outdoor videography with those locomotives. Well, I'll, I'll stick that in the What's Neat This Week thing too. Good, good. Lots of great cool stuff. Love what you're doing. Alright Joe, well thanks. I'll put it together and make something nice for you. Okay, look forward to it Ken. Okay. So, I'll do a What's Neat This Week on some of the projects that I've been working on. One thing I've been trying really hard in the last four months is to take my still model railroad photography and bring it to life in video. So all the pictures that you're used to seeing from trackside now can come alive and actually move. So for this What's Neat This Week feature, I want to exhibit the models that I've been able to work with and enjoy on video as if you're watching them go by trackside.